When I was six, the secret police broke down our front door and abducted my father. I'm not a great friend of the state, but I am equally not a great friend of any privateer with excessive power over other citizens. The one thing I learned during my political life, which is fairly recent, since 2015, is when a bill comes to Parliament, somewhere in it you will find, if you follow the money, some vested interest that has created circumstances for the corrupt enrichment of some oligarch. If you follow the money, you will find the essence of corrupt power, of oligarchy, embedded in the DNA of what passes as really existing capitalism. Those two experiences of mine, firstly, at a young age, growing up in a dictatorship. Secondly, as a politician that has seen the way in which the financial system, the oligarchs, the corporations are destroying the lives of millions of people and are causing inefficiency and irrationality in the way that we are handling our resources, both in terms of creating opportunities for prosperity, shared prosperity amongst especially the young people and the ecological issue. My concern can be summed up in one objective, democracy. The only guarantee we have, the only weapon we have against concentrated power is a combination of civil liberties, liberty at the personal level, with democracy. And allow me to finish off by reminding you of Aristotle's definition of democracy. It is a system of government in which the poor govern because by definition, the poor are in the majority. What we are experiencing today is an oligarchy, a finan financialized oligarchy that is pushing us towards an ecological catastrophe. We must not tear anything down. We must take every piece of technology that capitalism created, every liberty that was brought to us by capitalism, and we should cherish it. But we need to make one evolutionary step beyond capitalism. We need to democratize economic life, democratize the way corporations are run, democratize finance in order to save democracy, in order to save liberalism, in order to save those ideals that those who had invested in capitalism initially 200, 300 years ago looked upon as hope for the world. Thank you. Whoa.